Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to Day of the Tentacle. In the last episode, well, we didn't really do that much in the end. Uh, all we basically did was uh, expl explore both in and outside the, ma uh, the mansion uh, with uh, Bernard. And, and now in this episode we're going to focus more on Hoki and, and see what we can do here. So Hoki, in case you remember, is stuck, is stuck 200 years in the past. And let's see what we got. We got a can opener and a patent application. What, is, what was this again? Oh, all right. Yeah, this was the um, uh, plans for the battery thingy, and I think that these are the things that we need. Uh, miniature. I, I'm no idea. I don't even know what that really is. Uh, Lettuces, whatever that is. Crotons. <laughs> I have. I, I have. I feel very stupid now. I don't even know what what these things are. The only only thing that I do, only things that I do really recognize are gold and oil. But that's pretty much it. Well. It's I'm the battery plants I'm supposed to give to that Red Edison dude. So yeah, we have. To, so we gotta give this thing to Red Edi Edison, who is Fred Edison's uh, great, 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 great grandfather or something like that. And I should be using this more just to see what this game used to look like back in 1993. But now let's go inside this house and see what and see what we got here. Now, did you open it? Yes, you open it. Oh hey, it's that mummy from outside the mansion. Is it the same mummy? What's up? Don't feel like talking, huh? Vow of silence or something, probably, right? Well, that's cool. Alright. Mm. I have something for Red Edison. I have something for Red Edison. Yeah, I didn't. Th I didn't think that he would talk. Mm, might as well ask. Do you know okay. where I could find him? Great hat, man. Well, it's okay, I guess. I dig the three corner idea. Mm. I dig the three corner idea. Well, I guess there's really no, 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 not much of a uh, point to talk about this thing anymore. Later, dude. Yes, uh, let's take a look at it closer. Cool, the room clerk's a mummy. Right. I don't see why there's a mummy as a, as a, as a clerk here, but whatever. What And what about this door? Hmm. Oh, John Hancock, one of the founding fathers. And what is this? Suggestion, <laughs> suggestion box. The Constitutional Convention invites your comments, critiques, Amendment to the Constitution. All right, swinging door. All right, and Thomas Jefferson. Hmm. Familiar names, and there is the big man himself, George Motherfucking Washington himself, and smoking a cigar. Uh, let's have a chat with these guy and guys and see what they have to say. Yo. Hello. What's up, you cold? What's up, you cold? Cold? I'm freezing. Mm, why don't you build a fire? Mm. Yeah. Why don't you build a fire? Well, I keep asking Jefferson to build a fire, but he won't. Says he needs the log for posterity and won't part with it. Okay. He's going to give the lock to starving children? Mm. You mean it's like a symbol of growth? You mean it's like a symbol of growth or something? I don't get any respect around here. Why, I bet if George I spent the winter in Valley Forge, Washington was cold, we'd get some heat in here. <laughs> Alright. Mm. How come your how come you sign your name so big? Awesome blanket there, dude. Hmm, I didn't even notice he, he was wearing, having one. Alright, hmm. What are you guys doing here? What are you guys doing in here? We're writing a... a, a, a constitution? Writing the, a, a, We're drafting a constitution for the United States. Yeah, that's... Don't say draft, you'll only make me colder. Wimp. <laughs> 
Why don't you have some hot coffee? Why don't you have some hot coffee? Oh, I can't stand coffee. It makes me irritable and want to bang my head against the walls. Huh, okay. So, uh, so there wasn't uh, any historical ref references references to the, to the his historical event where they uh, threw the all all the all the coffee or wait, was it tea? Coffee or or or, or tea uh, out of the ships to the uh, sea. The coffee tea that came from Britain, or uh, something like. Uh, uh, I I I remember I remember read, reading about that. But no references to that. All right. Mm. You say that that's all. It was a bad thing. Mm. Have you tried decaffeinated decaf coffee? Hmm. Interesting. Have you tried decaffeinated coffee? I'm talking about decaf. Oh. I was just I was just thinking that thinking that maybe we should have gotten him some decaf coffee or something from the mansion. Shouldn't you guys be working instead of just sitting there? Writer's block. We can't think of any amendments or anything, so we put a suggestion box over there. I don't suppose you have any b brilliant ideas. <laughs> how, uh, how, how, how funny, how, how funny, funny it would be if, um, if you could go back, uh, back to, uh, back to, back to present. Uh, read, um, copy the uh, copy the amen amendments or the consti entire constitution, and then and then bring it here. Mm, what about free sandwiches for all roadies? No music in elevators. Oh, I don't exactly like that. Mm, you could guarantee the right to free speech. Well, let's just say this first, just because. What about free sandwiches for all roadies? No, there's no such thing as. Don't say it, dude. I've heard it before. Okay. Oh, that we don't have the option anymore. Well, I guess we can uh, do it again, but let's just say this for now. Awesome blanket there, dude. Thank you. It was given to me by my dear old colorblind Aunt Hattie. Hmm, alright. Well, how come you sign... How, how, how come you sign your name so big? How come you sign your name so big? Astigmatism. Okay, you mean you have like a childhood complex? Hmm. That's where your joints hurt, right? Uh, I don't. I, I, I'm not even sure about what it is, really. Well, uh, let's just make a wild guess. You mean you have like a childhood complex? All right. The, the, the truth is that a friend once told me that women go c c crazy over guys with a big signature. <laughs> well, oh, I gotta go, dude. Uh, let's uh, try to stop again yeah. because I because I want. Please let me suffer in peace. Oh God damn it! Uh, because I because I really wanted to uh to uh to uh, to, uh, to suggest him to give uh to add free speech the right the right to uh, the right of free speech to the Constitution, but apparently we can't do it anymore. Well, shit. And uh, what about Thomas Jefferson? Hey, tall, dark, and spiffy. My name's Hoagie. Well, how quaint. I am, of course, Thomas Jefferson, noted scholar, musician, horseman, student of the sciences, member of the bar. Oh, sure, I've heard of you, dude. Uh, I'm sure he has. What's in the can, Tommy? Oh, that can. Mm, dude, is that like the Constitution? Uh, where? I don't really see any papers on it, on the table, but whatever. Could you start the fire, please? Mm. Let's, uh... Yeah, let's just ask this. Is that the Constitution? Dude, is that like THE Constitution? Right now, it's just a constitution, I'm afraid. We hit a slight creative block right after the preamble. That's why we put up a suggestion box over there. Oh, maybe now I can. Oh, wait. Has anyone ever told you you are a very snappy dresser? Oh, okay. What's in the can? What's in the can, Tommy? Thomas. My name is Thomas, and this, my chubby friend, is a time capsule. Filled with remembrances of our time to be revealed 400 years hence. I see. Mm. Could you start a fire? Could you start a fire, please? 
I'd love to oblige you, young man, but I can't. This is the only log, and I'm saving it for posterity. How, how is it possible that that's the only log? I mean, that you, uh, you know what? I'm not even gonna question the logic here. Hmm. How can you let Hancock suffer like that? How can you let Hancock suffer like that? A real man is warmed by the fires of his spirit. You should listen to Washington relate his experiences at Valley Forge and take heed. Right. How's the time capsule going? So, how's the time capsule going? I'm sorry to say that except for my log, we haven't got a thing. Right. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Dude, I loved your work on the Declaration of Independence. Ah, thank you. What was your favorite part? Hmm. Prudence? I, I like those S's that look like F's. <laughs> I like the we to people part. <laughs> Let's say this. I like those S's that look like F's. I see. <laughs> Has anyone ever told you you're a very snappy dresser? Why, yes. I studied at Virginia Coat and Technical, where I majored in color theory. I was captain of the varsity cravat team. Those are impressive credentials, Tom. Thomas. Well, later, dude. What? What's going to happen later? <laughs> oh yeah, I I I I I guess that the people two two hundred I guess that the Americans two hundred years in the past past are not exactly familiar with these phrases like later and Tommy and dude and stuff. And we still can't talk to him, I guess. Yo. Please let me suffer in peace. Oh God damn it! Because I really would 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 have liked to suggest the freedom of speech thing. Damn it. Well, I'll su I'll su suggest that next time, just in case. When, uh, if there ever, ever comes a chance like that again. Excuse me. Yes? And that's George Washington himself. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Mm, yeah. Whoa, you're like George Washington. Very much like him, according to my wife, Mrs. Washington. <laughs> Whoa. Mm. Does Mrs. Washington know you, you wear so much makeup? Yeah, let's ask that. Does Mrs. Washington know you wear so much makeup? One must wear makeup when one receives the phenomenal amount of media attention that I do. It's quite likely that I'll be president soon, you know. Do you think I should be the ecology president or the education president? Mm, I'm a big fan of education. Well, Hogan doesn't exactly look like he likes studying. I think ec eco eco ecology is very important. Depends on how many cherry trees you have you have chopped down. Hmm? Uh, let's just say uh, whatever. Let's just say education. I'm a big fan of education. Really? How surprising! Indeed. Is it true? Is it true about you and the cherry tree? I'm not exactly sure what uh, this is supposed to be a, re a reference to. I'm not that familiar with Amer American history. Cold enough for you? Mm. Do you really have wooden teeth? Well, that's new. Do you really have wooden teeth? As a matter of fact, I do make use of artificial teeth. I find them to be far superior to the ordinary enamel variety. Okay. Wow, do you... Mm, what do you brush them with? Don't you have a problem with splinters? Ugh. Where could I get some of those? My Uncle Henry has false teeth too. Hmm. Hmm. Don't you have a problem with splinters? Don't you have a problem with splinters? I've been to war, boy. No one who's heard the thunder of musket fire, smelled the sulfur from a cannon blast, and felt the fear in the hearts of his comrades is going to be bothered by a little thing like, ah, oh, blast it. <laughs> well, what about termites? Uh, wood <laughs> woodpeckers? Mm, dry rot? Yeah. 
Mm. Let's just say woodpeckers. Well, what about woodpeckers? Hardly. Well, that, well, that, that was boring. Uh, what do you brush them with? Wow, what do you brush them with? I use a toothbrush, much like everyone else. And a bit of wood polish, of course. Right. I don't know how health I don't know how healthy that is to put uh, to use wood pol wood polish and then and, put, and and then put the thing in your mouth. But whatever, whatever floats you both. Wasn't it this awful? Yeah, in, in, indeed. Or oh, don't they make disposable kind? Uh, doesn't that taste awful? Not if you take them out first. Oh, okay. Hmm. Where could I get some of those? Well, let's ask, let's say this first. My Uncle Henry has false teeth too. Fascinating, I'm sure. Hmm. Well, let's just ask this, ask this because I'm not because I'm curious. Is it true about you and the cherry tree? Oh yes, it's quite true. Why, I've cut down acres of cherry trees in my day. Mm, would you give me a demonstration? Hmm, I bet you have lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Mm. Would you give me a demonstration? Would you give me a demonstration? I don't see why I should. Cold enough for you? Cold? Why, you don't know the meaning of the word. I spent a winter at Valley Forge. Now that was cold. Why, my spit would freeze before it hit the ground. Okay, that's quite cold. Cool. Extremely. <laughs> cool. Extremely. Uh, okay, so... Maybe we maybe we need to get this uh, Mr. Uh, Mr. Washington here uh, uh, to, uh, to, ch to chop down a cherry tree and then uh, and then we use the lock and then we use the locks uh, locks from that tree to make a fire. That could be it. But let's see. Can we talk some uh, more? Excuse me. Yes. Mm. What are you looking at? What are you looking at out there? What are you looking at out there? The future of our nation. Hmm. That young couple by the tree. Those outhouses. A system of free enter enterprise and opportunity. Yeah. A system of free enterprise and opportunity? No, no. I was just admiring my reflection in the window. Striking, aren't I? <laughs> oh, yes. Of course. Of course. I've been thinking about what you said about cherry trees. Pondering the great truths, eh? Well... Mm, I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. I bet you've lost it. You couldn't cut down a tree to save your grandmother. Lost it, have I? Why, I'd show you a thing or two if there were a cherry tree nearby. But as you can see, there isn't. Oh, there isn't? I only cut down cherry trees. Family tradition, you understand. Cherries only. There's nothing out there but cedar and kumquats. Oh, I see. So, there's no cherry trees around. Hmm. I don't know how we can suddenly uh, get one over here. Smoke det detector. It's a little cage with a canary in it, perched above a little lever. Huh. Okay. And we still can't talk to you, I, I take it. Yo. Please, let me suffer in peace. Well, fine. Uh, what about this door? Mm, this seems to be a... Uh, mm, not kitchen, but... Well, maybe, I don't know. Mm, water pump? Anything we can pick up from here? Oil. Well, I guess we can pick up this. And spaghetti. There was spaghetti. There was spaghetti and back in back in those days. Hmm. Let's take a look at it. Mmm, salad oil. All right. Sometimes I like to eat it raw. Hmm. Yeah. I know the I know the feeling. I like to eat it raw too sometimes. Well, not 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 big amounts, but just a little bit. Water pump. Bitchin'. Bitchin'. 
I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna. Well, you, you may not want, but I want. Uh, open it. In a bucket, can we pick it it's up? It's empty. Well, alright. Buckets are bound to be useful in point and click adventure games and a brush. Holy crap, we are robbing this place. Uh, anything special in that? I hope this wasn't used in the outhouses. Oh, me too. And that's nothing. Oh yeah, and I forgot to use this. Let's see what these... Oh, that's what the founding fathers of the United States of America look, looked like back in 1993. Yeah. Alright. Now, was there anything else we could do? Or anywhere else we can go? Well, there's this. Well, this looks awfully familiar. Hmm, is there also a... And yes, there is. And that's Red Edison, I take it. Yes, that, that's he, hey. that he is. What is it? You look kind of familiar. You look kind of familiar. Of course I do. I'm Red Edison, the inventor. Not to mention owner of this inn. Perhaps you've seen my picture in some important scientific journal. Then again, maybe not. Hmm, yeah. Hmm. Do you know Ben Franklin? Do you know Ben Franklin? Franklin? <laughs> I would never associate with that overstuffed goofball. He has the stupidest idea about glasses with one red lens and one blue one. Hmm, right. Uh, so what are you up to? What are you doing? I'm inventing you, simpleton. What's it look like I'm doing? Hmm, I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Hmm. Well, what are you inventing? What are you inventing? It's a new size independent fastening mechanism based on circular geometry. Might as well say this one. I know an inventor who looks a bit like you. Well, it's not one of my sons, that's for sure. It appears that I, Red Edison, foremost genius of my day, am to be the last in a long line of gifted inventors. My nearly indistinguishable sons have decided that they want to be artists. I think it was Jed's idea. Or is it Ned? Ah, well, the left-handed one at any rate. Must be some sort of bad blood on their mother's side. Now that's a bit harsh. So, see you well, later. See you later. Oh, we, we don't have. You mind if you cut that hair a bit shorter? Yeah. Alright, uh, let's. give this. Oh, I didn't want to look it's at the it. the battery plans I'm supposed to yeah, give I that know. Red Edison dude. Alright, is there a gift? Let's give it to him. Hmm, super battery, eh? Brilliant design. Sometimes I amaze myself. Now all I need is oil, vinegar, and some gold. Well, we got the oil at least. And this one, I hope, I hope, I hope that this, this will do. Uh, give oil to Edison. Ah, excellent! I need that for my super battery. But I'm not sure that uh, what the vinegar was exactly. Maybe I should uh, look up look up uh, on the dictionary soon. But what about spaghetti? What am I supposed to do with that? I don't know. You're the inventor. I'm sure you can uh, figure out something. But I'm quite sure. That, but it's none of these. It's not a can opener, a bucket, or a brush. That much I know. Uh, anything interesting here? It's covered with plans and junk. Right. And it. Lab coat. It looks more like a raincoat than a lab coat. Can we steal it? Hey! No. Only employees are allowed to use that lab coat. Employees, huh? Left handed. Left left handed hammer. Alright. Mm -hmm. Just looks like a regular hammer to me, but then I'm no scientist. 
Can you pick it up? Say, that's a left-handed hammer, you know. I invented it myself. It was for my ungrateful slob of a left-handed son. Oh, well. Uh-huh. Maybe we should give that hammer to his son when we find him. Oh, meanwhile. How about an amendment that the president has to be a human being? Please, this is serious business. You're right. Okay, well that was... random. Uh, let's actually go go and uh, test if we can talk to this guy again. Yo. Please, let me suffer in peace. Well, fine. Ch damn it, because I really wanted to uh, to suggest him that freedom of uh, speech uh, thing into the uh, constitution. Hmm. I have actually, I think I have, rec I think I have recorded uh, qu quite enough for this episode. Uh, we haven't really done that much in this one either, because we have, well, mostly just been talking to pe talking to people and just uh, exploring inside this mansion. And oh, hey, look at that! It's uh, it, uh, it's that rabbit. Uh, that rabbit from Sam and Max. Oh, actually, I kind of forgot which one was which. I think it was Max. Yeah, I'm quite, I'm, I'm quite sure. But, but, uh, but, but, anywho, at least, at least I have some sort of idea what we at, at, at least have to do here. We are somehow have to get a cherry tree here for Washington, for President Washington to to, to jump down. Then we use that lock possibly to uh to, to start a fire and and that and, and that sort of thing. And possibly find Red Edison's sons, and then also find some uh, gold and vinegar for Red Edison. So that's pretty much what we have to uh, do and do in the next ne next episode, and explore this mansion some more, or in. So thank you for watching once again, and see you next time for more Day of the Tentacle.